Hello everybody, it's Mrs Atkinson here. I'm sat at Rose's desk in her bedroom because it's given me a little bit of room to do what I want to do and show you today. And that is to make, it's Monday task, it's to make a dragon mask or a moving dragon. So I'm going to show you how I would make a moving dragon to celebrate Chinese New Year, which is on Friday the 12th, this Friday coming. Sometimes they use them in their dances and I've asked you today to have a look at some of the dances on the Top Marks website. So hopefully you've had a little listen to the kind of songs if you're celebrating Chinese New Year, how you dance and the kind of music that you would dance to. Um, so this is what I've got to show you. So you need to get these resources. You need some felt tips. You need, I've got lots of different colours of, I've got tissue paper. Don't worry if you haven't got all these, it doesn't matter, you can just draw a dragon. I've got some gold shiny and some red shiny paper. I've got some orange paper and some red. Some scissors and some sellotape. So if you can get some resources, that will be useful. And two sticks, but if you haven't got sticks, two pencils will do the job just the same. So the first thing I've done to show you, because I didn't want to take up too much of your time, I've drawn myself a dragon head. Okay, so that's your first job, is to draw your dragon head. It's got some teeth, it's got a tongue hanging out, it's got an eye, it's got lots of spiky hair, spiky hair under its head. So your first job is to draw a dragon head. Then... I would like you to draw a dragon tail. So I've put some scales on here, reptilian scales, and it curls at that end and points. So those are the two things that I need you to do. And when you've done that, you could pause the video whilst you do it. Then your next job is to cut them out. So I'm going to cut this out carefully. Meanwhile, you can sing or you can have a dance while I do this. You can tell me a story, you can sing me a deliciously gorgeous song, you can go and eat some food. So I'm just going to cut it out. This is not accurate cutting, is it, for me? I like cutting normally, but this is a little bit of a rush of a job. Because you've got lots of spiky hair I'm having to cut around. So hopefully you'll also get time to taste some Chinese food this week. I'm definitely going to be tasting some. I've ordered some spring rolls. Yummy, yummy. Don't normally make them myself. I don't think I've ever made spring rolls. But spring rolls are delicious. Prawn crackers are delicious. Um, noodles are yummy. And some nice chicken dishes and prawn dishes. Um, so maybe... Oh, prawn toast as well. That's delicious. So you'll have to let me know how your tasting goes if you if you do taste some delicious Chinese food today or this week so there we go there's my dragon head and then I've got to do the same with my dragon tail so they're separate don't draw not I don't think I want you to draw them on the same sheet of paper if you just got white that's fine because you can use your lovely colouring pencils to make your dragon colourful it's actually the year of the ox 2021, 2021. But dragons are very much an animal that you think of when you think of Chinese um, festivals and Chinese New Year. Okay, so there we go, tidy as you go. I've got my dragon tail and I've got my dragon head. Now, what we're going to do is make the middle bit. In between and that's called a bit of a concertina that's a good word to use isn't it concertina so I'm going to get I might use gold for this so all you need to do is cut a long rectangular piece of gold or if you don't have gold I'm very lucky that Rosa and Sunny had so many lovely things in their in their creative basket in their box so when you've got your, oh that's shiny isn't it, can you see that, reflecting, the light's reflecting on it. So when you've got your long piece, this is the middle bit and this is the bit that's going to bend and stick the tail and the head together. What you need to do, if you can see this, is you fold that way 
And then you turn it over and you fold the other way. Turn it over again, you fold that way and fold the other way. Then you do, you do this and complete it until you have got to the end of your rectangular strip. Now remember a rectangle has two short straight sides and two longer straight sides. It's not a square is it which is where the sides are all the same. There we go, nearly done. This way, that way, this way, that way and then if you give it a nice press like that and then open it up I can. <laughs> and look, it's got like a bit of a zigzag going on. Can you see? It bends. You push it together and it bends. It's like a spring, like a harmonica. Right. So then you need to stick your head onto one side. So I've got my cello tape here. You're going to stick your head onto one side. So just get your carefully get your head and I'm trying to show you at the same time oops it eases hang on I'm going to have to do it on the table because it's going a bit wrong you stick your head on one side like that and then you stick your tail on the other side like this And then you've nearly finished your moving dragon. The only thing to do now is to add your sticks so that you can move your hold your sticks so it moves the dragon. It's like a dancing dragon, isn't it? A little bit like the songs that you've been listening to on the Top Marks website. So I'll put the one stick on one side and one stick on the other side and now this is what should happen let's just pop it together and then we can hold them like this watch what happens look it's a moving dragon and it bends and it flows and it dances and its tail swings and sways it's good isn't it if you wanted to if you had some tissue paper or some nice orange paper you could rip little strips up and pop them on the back of the tail so or even pack, um, stick them to the head so that they dangle down there you go and that's your job so you could either make a mask like this make it a little bit bigger or a smaller concertina dragon, a Chinese dragon, like this. You have a go and send me your pictures. Thank you for listening, everybody. Bye.